So I have received from a couple of you, but not everybody, some ideas that you have come up with. Remember that by the end of today you should have three ideas for projects and then I will email back my response as to my approval for them. Um, I haven't emailed back yet, but I will do that as soon as we're done talking today. Um, let's hold on a second. So anyway, uh, the uh, I also emailed the new schedule. Today we're supposed to have three ideas. Friday you're supposed to have evaluated those ideas completely and chosen one idea and started your drawing uh, of that idea. You should have it about 75% done by Friday, uh, but those ideas need to be in today for my approval. And then you evaluate them, go through some kind of a matrix. And you need to remember to you, know, you need to remember what we did before which is to choose uh, what to, to figure out what you think is important. What are you guys seeing right now on your screen? Are you seeing me and my whiteboard or what? Okay. Well, that's good enough. So, if you don't remember, let's go over a little review of how you evaluate, how you evaluate these things. I usually like to make some kind of a chart or some kind of a table or whatever you want to call it, a matrix. And you can't see this. Let me see if I can get my source to the right thing here. That's not right. Now you're probably seeing yourself, right? That didn't work either. Can you see my desktop there? I'll do this on. You're still just seeing black? Are you seeing my hand? How about now? Okay. So this is just great. They get one thing to work and nothing else works. Go to this thing. Okay, now what are you seeing? You still seeing me? So you can see, you can see this side. Okay. I can't see what I, I can't see what you're seeing until I push a certain button. So I have to find the right button to push. All right, let's get this up on the whiteboard so you can kind of see what I'm talking about here. So what I prefer to do is to make some kind of a chart or table. Of course, all these pens are terrible, so you can't see anything. But anyway, make some kind of a chart or table. And uh, across the top, you might have 
your three ideas up here, idea number one, idea number two, idea number three, whatever they are. And along the side, you might have some criteria for what makes a great idea. And you're going to have to choose these. You're going to have to think, what is it that's going to make a good idea for me to work on here? And let's say uh, uh, over here we put um, how useful something is, maybe. And give it a, you know, an, uh, give it a score, give it a value. Usefulness, let's say, is worth 10 points. So I'll put 10 points here. And then uh, maybe uh, you want to, you want maybe you want to make something that's simple so you can get it done in time. So you put one, you put one thing here called simplicity, maybe. And it's up to you how you do this. So maybe simplicity is not as important as useful. So you give it a score of a five over here. And so on and so forth. You're going to pick four or five of these criteria, four or five of these things that you're going to score each one of these ideas with. And then you're going to score these ideas from zero to ten. And uh, maybe you will give it from one to ten. So maybe idea one scores a five on the usefulness and a ten on the simplicity. And then you multiply these two numbers. So you do the useful number is ten. And you have you scored a five on that, so this gives us total score of fifty. You put that in there and circle it, and this one gets a total score of fifty. And then you add up all the totals at the bottom here, and whichever one scores the most is the one that's going to be your idea that you're going to work on. And you may remember that you did this kind of a thing with your bridge, and I can't remember what other uh, we did it with a couple of different projects, but you did this kind of a thing where you had these criteria that you are using to determine what is the best idea that you're going to use. So you're going to build something like that, and that is the thing that should be due on Friday in class. So you should have your three ideas to me no later than sometime today so that I can send those back to you no later than tomorrow so that you can work on them and have them ready for Friday. Once this is done, I, I would recommend you get this done as quickly as possible and returned into me as quickly as possible. Once it is done, you should start working on that idea that scores the best. And start working on drawing, drawing it out in uh, Google SketchUp. Now, you may end up drawing your entire thing in Google SketchUp, but I would only recommend that if the thing that you're going to be working on, this idea, invention, solution, whatever you want to call it, if it can all be printed in a single print. If it cannot be printed in a single print, then you want to just draw the part or parts that you want printed on the printer. And then include also in maybe a separate drawing or in a separate part of the drawing, the parts that are going to be added in that are not going to be printed. So you have, if you have a couple of choices. You can have multiple parts put, that go together that I print. You can have um, multiple parts that I print or a single part that I print that go together with other parts that you're going to get somewhere else. Or you can have the entire uh, thing printed on the printer in one piece, depending on what you're going to do. So that's kind of up to you. Uh, I can't remember exactly, but let's go look it up on MakerBot.
Okay, here we go. Uh, we had the original replicator, I believe. doesn't give us any information here. Have a good one. 